Well, now I'm a home wrecker. I'm going to end up siphoning the kids out of there because this is about the time they start disappearing. So I'll put flip this around, put you on a tripod, and let you watch the horror. Now, I've never done this before. I'm going to use this size piece of siphon tube. It looks like it's about almost about half inch inside diameter. Uh, and it's, I don't know, four feet long, five feet long, something like that. And I'm gonna siphon them into a two gallon bucket and just hope the hell it works. Cause they're, they're around. They're kind of close to the gravel down there. The parents are right there. You know, I don't know, people have said try and, you know, like siphon out some. They're not in a big cluster. I wish they were to be a hell of a lot easier. And, and and I don't know. I'm and then I got all this guppy grass in the way I need to move out. So I'm not sure how this is gonna fly, but we'll give it a shot. I'm almost tempted to just let nature take its course one more time. Because well, they, they've had one successful spawn. I don't know. They almost know like something's coming. So we shall see. I'm going to start by uh, moving the guppy grass out of the way and see if uh, see what happens there. All right. So I've moved the tripod. Maybe you get more of a straight on view. And I've zoomed in just a hair. But let's see. I'm going to pull some of the guppy grass out of the way. Let's see what happens. Move the lights back some. Give me some room. Try not to stir stuff up too much. There's a lot of guppy grass here. I put it back on my eBay page. And Bob bites. And I don't mean that in a figurative sense. I mean he literally bites. He's an aggressive little... All right, let's see where the fry are. There's some down there. All right, here goes. Got a little bit of water in the tank to start. Um, and I'm gonna kind of come up from them from the backside. Probably give a bunch of fish a concussion with uh, So I see I got several in the bucket. This was a small spawn or most of several already already died off. I don't know. Uh, but I see Um, see, I've got several in the bucket, and I think I'm going to go with that. This is already disruptive enough, and we'll see how it goes from there. So I'm going to take you off the tripod, show you what's in the bucket. wanted to wait for most of the water to stop swirling, but there's a little cluster of them right there. And some darker, some lighter, So, and there's some more in these rocks right here. So it looks very much like I'm going to end up with what I had last, the first spawn that I ever got out of these, half albino and half species looking, which is okay. But now I'm going to put them in the fry tray, the uh, Lowell's Fish Lab fry tray. So, so I rinsed them into the measuring cup here. Now let's pour them in. They, that was no easy task getting them out of, uh, out of that bucket. Let's try this. That's, this is the fry tray. Let me change the zoom here. There we go. I'm gonna see if I can get this four liter measuring, or was it, yeah, four liter measuring cup around the side here and pour them all in. So there was some gravel in there. There's Sawasatang, and I'll put a piece of a hornwort in there, and that should have some 
infusoria, infusoria, that stuff on it. So give them some something to eat. And also, I've got some baby brine shrimp uh, hatching. Let's grab a piece of, got a bunch of hornwort in this tank. Let me find a piece that's not massive. I don't want to totally take over the tank or that little fry tray with them. Here, we'll put this in there with them. And there we go. So, we'll see how this plays out. Hopefully they'll survive in there. And I also have green water. So I'll go get a, some green water to pour in for them right now. I'll have to let it cool down because it's probably 100 degrees outside. Um, but then I will, let's do that. I guess this is the hard part. Bob and Carol look a little confused. I don't know, myth maybe. Maybe just flat out pissed off. They're, uh, they look like they were looking for, where did everybody go? So, but yesterday she was inside. Oh, there's a couple in there still. Um, geez, I wonder if I should try and save those. I've got a turkey baster. There was one along the glass next to the gravel there. I don't see it right now. Time I turned around to uh, get the turkey baster, it seems to have vanished. So I don't know if it's just, I mean, they're small. So there we go. There's one. I got my finger over the turkey baster hole in, in, in the lens too, apparently. I just put another one in there. I don't know, I'm thinking I got most of them. Maybe even all of them. And if there are any survivors, I wonder if Bob and Carol will just feast on them. Um, they've got a hole going right there underneath, uh, next to this little hut, underneath this piece of driftwood. Um, and then they've also, she's also been looking like she's start, getting ready to start another nest inside this little hut. So maybe that's why they, uh, they keep eating them because she's just, they're just laying eggs, you know, on top of the last spawn and too much to handle. They used to spawn back here. And all of a sudden, got the grass. There's a big chunk of driftwood behind these or over these rocks. So back under there, there was a cave that they used to spawn in. That's where their first spawn originated. This little hut came along later as a PetSmart hut. Let's do that green water. Yeah, it's already 104 out here. I need to top this green water off. It evaporates down. But I've got this two liter. Is it two liter? No, I guess it's a half a liter. Um, two cup, measuring cup. Let me stir this up a little bit. Lovely shade of green. And uh, there it is. So let's go take the temperature of this. It doesn't feel really hot, but it is 104 out here. So the ambient temperature of this stuff should be fairly warm. Here we go. Now let's put it on the bench. Now we'll put it here on the cart. Now we'll put it, I don't know what we're doing. Put it on the bench next to my coffee. Don't drink it. Got this little $9 thermometer thing from Amazon. Put it close, pull the trigger. It is 83 degrees. Wow. There we go, 83.3. Um, and the, the water here is 76, so it's going to, it's a little bit warmer. I think we can probably pour it in without hurting anything too much because it's not that hot. So and we'll feed these guys some green water. It should be full of infrasoria. I didn't see any, uh, um, this will give them something to, to feed on. I didn't see any uh, mosquito larvae in it, which is kind of weird. So I've still got a little left. I'll just maybe give it to, I've got a tank full of guppies. 
Um, maybe we'll just give that to them, see how they like it. Because there are fry in here that are, this tank's insane. Watch them come up to the top. They think they're getting fed. So we'll put this in and I'll just spread it across the top. Because it's, I don't know if you can see them or not with the light. Let me see if I can shade the light a little bit. No, probably not. Anyway, the, the top, the surface of the water is just covered with fry. So we'll just dump this in here. And that'll provide a little extra nourishment for the little ones like they, like that's an issue. And there's a little dead guppy. So we'll just feed that to the shrimp. There's some Blue Dream shrimp in here. They will clean it up. All right, well, there you go. We'll uh, keep an eye on these little guys. Um, this green murky water, uh, the way this, this fry tray works, there's an airline coming in right here and it draws water up in through this pre-filter up into this little chamber right there. You can see it gurgling away. That's bringing up fresh water out of the tank. All right, so let's put that back on. And so it, it drops down at this end, circulates through, goes through this, this sponge filter at the end, a little piece of sponge keeps things from swimming out. There it is back there, pulling it out. Um, and it'll out, so this'll be clear in, I don't know, maybe in a few hours, this'll be mostly clear. By tomorrow, it'll be totally clear, and I can do that again. Put fresh uh, uh, green water in, because these things need to eat, and this is one way to feed them. So there you go. And you know what I always say, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>